If you were a change maker, what would you fight or campaign for? I would change people's attitudes to immigrants. Gender discrimination, homeless people's lives, greater awareness and less stigma when it comes to mental health. Trying to be fair to everybody. More awareness of politics in general amongst young people. So I'd like to see people less willing to make judgments of others. Support for the um, LGBT community, so that support is often not there, particularly amongst young people. I'm not sure the youth opinion is heard enough. If people could listen more to the youth, that would be brilliant. Do you think men and women in the UK are treated as equals? I think in theory they are, in practice not always. There's the wage gap, which is really an obvious one. Women are less likely to get promoted um, and on average have a lower salary. I definitely feel there needs to be more women in positions of power. Like, I grew up with a single dad and I think there's a lot of stigma when it comes to that as well because people don't imagine fathers to be more than the kind of person who just pays the bills, which just isn't true at all. We aspire to have men and women to be equal, but at the moment it's not reality and it's something we have to change. Do you feel politics influence you in your daily life? I feel politics influences everyone in a way, whether they know about it or not. I mean, even just cycling down the road, I have to follow, well, I'm meant to follow a certain number of laws. I definitely would vote if I could. It's the opportunity to choose who runs the country and who makes the decisions, and I think everyone should be involved in that. In, in, for example, in this country, the way that we vote is not very fair in the system. Your vote isn't out of 64 million people. You're voting for your local MP and not for the Prime Minister. What do you think about the costs of education, particularly university education? There is things as student loans which do work really well, but then people are paying them off for a long period throughout their life. It's more of a tax than even a loan. Universities want to raise that even higher. We kind of can't avoid paying much less, really. And actually, many people say that apprenticeships and internships are better because you get on the uh, job market a lot quicker. Um, you can go on and do an apprenticeship or do an open university. My school works with advisor and they interview everyone in year 11. And they're sort of kind of going, what you can do after GCSEs, are you going to do six one, are you going to do an apprenticeship? For the young years, there's not as much support. What do you think of libraries? Um, people who are slightly poorer than others, then they can have the opportunity to learn just like anyone else, and they have the free resource to get whatever books they want out and explore what their passions are. I think it's a shame because they're not really used to their full potential a lot of the time. What do you think about climate change? The world's going to end. <laughs> we need to do more in terms of stopping big corporations from polluting as much as they do. But we'll have major issues, such as um, areas on the coast being flooded, and uh, other things like that. It will ultimately affect our children more than us, um, which is why it's so easy to dismiss. Our proposal is to discourage the use of fossil fuels and also to invest more in renewable resources. That we have changed the system of the way our votes are counted, meaning we have more proportional representation. Increasing the number of apprenticeships and just generally increasing the knowledge about apprenticeships. Schools should put more work into their career support system so that students have a better opportunity to go into the world of work.
feels like you can't do very much. I think you can do a lot more than you think. People around the country continue to set up youth town, youth town councils. We're just taking an active this interest in politics. Campaign, we can protest. There is a lot we could do. There are many ways in which young people can start making a difference in their local communities and societies. For example, you can join a social media campaign. You could join your local youth council or youth parliament. You can attend your local hustings near an election or publicise political party. And finally, you can start a campaign or a petition um, about an issue that you're passionate about.